each year we have created two events to celebrate Fossil Ridge High School. We first recognize the differences that each student has that make them unique. We then show everyone the part they play in the big picture of the FRHS community. Every spring we come full circle to celebrate the unity of Fossil. Fossil is our reference point for unity. This year we would like to continue to build this feeling of unity and teamwork in Fossil through Unity Week. Five days of reaching across our differences to find the things we have in common, accumulating in a new concept, a moment in time. If we could capture you in one moment, what will we see? How would you look? A second, a minute, a day can make a difference in your life and those around you. Who are you right here, right now? We are going to find out and tell the world about it. On Unity Day, Monday, April 7th, during advisory, all students will meet in their club, sport, or theme group in their designated spot. With your group, you will have one minute and two cameras to showcase what your group is all about. After this moment, everyone will join together in the front of the school to show our common unity. This will be edited into a montage of three to six second clips highlighting each group, and each clip will be shrunk down to be part of a mosaic of all the activities taking place simultaneously at Fossil. The final video will be unveiled at the People's Choice Assembly on May 21st, as well as uploaded to YouTube. Life is all about change. You will never again have all these people in this same place. We will never be exactly the same as we are right now. Celebrate us, celebrate here, celebrate now. Hey Fossil, as you all know, this Monday is Unity Day. For the finale, we will distribute streamers to everyone. Please pay attention to the following instructional video so everyone knows what to do for our finale. First, remove the rubber band securing your streamer. Next, hold the end of the streamer, making sure not to let go of it. Finally, throw your streamer straight up into the air. Remember to throw your streamer away after we're done. When we follow all these directions, our moment in time finale will look outstanding. Thank you, Fossil, for your time. Jersey Chaperone is about a man in a chair who brings the audience along for a little story where he brings out his favorite record, The Drowsy Chaperone and plays it for the audience. Jazzy Chaperone is about basically failed marriages, kind of. Mix-ups, mash-ups. The man in the chair has very emotional history and you slowly get to know him through the characters that he loves. This is a show within a show about a kind of mentally unstable guy telling a story about many more mentally unstable people. Well, my favorite part of being like a part of the Drowsy Chaperone is just being able to like uh, have fun and be myself even though my character is nothing like myself. What is your favorite part in the show? What I'm thinking depending on... It gives a good chuckle. Chuckle little heart. The Drowsy Chaperone will take place on April 10th, 11th, and 12th at 7 p.m. at Fossil Ridge in the PAC. Tickets are available for $10 for students and $12 for adults at showticksforyou.com or at the door. Enjoy the show. What was your most memorable play? Most memorable play would probably be senior night. Uh, I think Sawyer got a steal or something, and he went off one foot and just, uh, he just, another kid tried to block his shot, and it was just, I mean, a one handed poster on some loved one kid. It was, that was sweet. It was awesome. How close did you get with your teammates? I don't think there was a closer team in State, and I'm proud of that fact.
Today is Pop Your Bubble Day and Hug Day in honor of Andrew Conrad. We wanted to show that even though we may not all be from the same country, we are not all different. So, we interviewed exchange students and students that moved to Colorado from different parts of the world. My name is Yusuf and I'm a junior. I'm Rafael, um, I'm in 10th grade and I'm, I'm originally from Brazil. Hi, my name is Vincent, I'm a junior and I'm from Germany. I'm Sergio, I'm also a 10th grader uh, and I'm also from Brazil. My name is Eddie, my Chinese name is Yuan Hao. And 大家好,我来自中国, and I know there are some Chinese students that may understand what I say. What do you do for fun in Germany? Um, I hang out with friends. Um, we go to, I go to the swimming pool very often. I like to work out and go to the gym. In Brazil, we go to the beach a lot. Me and my friends often, we go out. We don't drive, we go to taxis, and then we go to the movies. What kind of foods do you eat in Germany? Um, there is a lot of like noodles and Italian food, but also we have like fast food, like McDonald's or Burger King. I miss Chinese food because my classmate over here said there's a Chinese restaurant called Panda Express. Me and my friend went to try it, and we just threw it away. It's really bad. <laughs> okay, so when was the time that you had to step outside of your comfort zone? Um, and I had like to present something in front of a class. We normally do it in German schools, like one big presentation a year. And yeah, it's, I don't really like speaking in front of other people. <laughs> I didn't speak much English at all. And I just didn't know how to communicate with people very well. Like, and I was very shy and I didn't talk to anybody. And I had, for like me to like make friends and like meet new people, I had to pop that bubble. I had to like start talking to people and meeting new people and having new experiences. When I first came here and I didn't speak English all that well, um, because you don't really, you can't really communicate with people all that well. Like you have to listen, you have to see how the language works and you have to kind of adapt. What's the difference from like Fossil and your school back in Brazil? Uh, I think the main differences uh, in schools between the two countries is that like here in the U.S., um, public schools are nice. They're like big and well-maintained while in Brazil, like if you go to a public school, you're not going to do very well. You're not going to learn very much at all. Okay, I think people here, the teachers respect your choices. The difference are the students. Uh, we got like, I was like too many students and back home is like less students. Um, my school in Germany is really small. It's only about 600 students and um, we don't have school um, sports at school. So it's really boring. It's basically just studying at school. Um, Fasel is really big and you get to choose your own class is really good um, because I like art in China. After sixth grade, you don't get to choose classes. There is no art class, so I'm pretty happy that I can take art class. I really like Fasel. It's way more fun. How do you say, can I give you a hug in Portuguese? Posso te dar um abraço? Agder ahadunek. Kan ich dich umarmen? Agder ahadunek. What can you buy, Oh, okay. Yay. Thank you. Post it un abrazo. The world is outside your comfort zone. Pop your bubble and meet someone new. Hug people you already know and let them know how much you appreciate them.